So the NPD site itself is about a thousand acres and the environmental footprint that will be left as a result of the in situ decommissioning of the NPD facility is less than 1% of that. My name is Megan Vickard, I'm the facility authority. Uh, as facility authority, I'm responsible for the site operations, maintenance, and eventual decommissioning of NPD. NPD, the construction started in 1958 and it went operational in 1962. NPD was shut down in 1988 um, after 30 years of operation which exceeded expectations. The facility during its 30 year lifespan was used to train numerous operators and engineers at, uh, um, at other CANDU reactors. Um, once the decision was made to shut down NPD in 1988, uh, we did go through the first phase of decommissioning which included defueling the reactor, draining all the heavy water and transferring them off site. So what we have left is essentially the radiated parts of the reactor, uh, which are all below grade. Our preferred approach for decommissioning the NPD facility is to perform in situ decommissioning, which means leaving all the reactor systems and components in place, stabilizing them, and allowing for natural decay. Uh, we will uh, grout all below grade structures in place. Uh, we will demolition the above grade structure, put it in uh, the cavities or open spaces in the facility, and at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the project, you'll see a concrete cap over top of the structure, uh, and then a geomembrane barrier over top, and it'll be contoured to allow for uh, precipitation and water runoff. Uh, drainage and collection. So you'll see essentially a green field with the ventilation stack remaining. In situ decommission is the best approach because it reduces the risk of worker exposure to radiation. It reduces the uh, likelihood of industrial hazards to workers. There's a lot of hoisting and rigging involved to remove a reactor vessel and all of its systems and components. Uh, and it's also minimal disturbance to the environment and surrounding ecosystem by performing in situ decommissioning. So the NPD structure itself is all below grade. The reactor, the components, the systems are all um, excavated into the bedrock. We had very thick walls, two or three feet structure walls. The reactor itself is in a reactor vault that is about nine feet thick. Um, so it's already a very robust configuration. We're just going to make it more safe um, by grouting the reactor, the systems, and grouting the whole facility in place. Uh, we're making one, one large concrete monolith. So in order to proceed with the decommissioning activities, we do have to apply for environmental assessment or environmental assessment approval from a regulator, the CNSC. Um, and we engage with the public to discuss our project and their feedback is an important part of the environmental assessment process. If people want to learn more about the NPD closure project, they can access um, www.cnl.ca. There's a direct link to the NPD closure project. Uh, we will be um, performing our next round of public engagements in the fall sometime in October. So just watch um, social media, um, Twitter, Facebook page for CNL and we'll let you know when the next public engagements are.